Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. And if you're new here, my name is Bianca Onich and I create videos here on YouTube about fashion and styling. And today I have a big H&M haul for you. Uh, these, all these items came from three different orders. Uh, I have a lot of accessories, some party attire because I have a Christmas party uh, at uh, my work and I want it to be prepared so I ordered something in advance. And I'm going to start exactly with that. It's a suit composed by two pieces. Uh, this single breasted blazer uh, that has as a distinctive feature this satin color. It also comes with satin pocket flaps and also uh, the buttons are covered in the same satin material. It is lined, it has shoulder pads, it is quite thick so if it doesn't get too cold until my Christmas party which is in the beginning of December then I might be able to wear it on its own without a jacket or a coat over it and that would be amazing. It came at $64.99. I think it's a pretty fair price for what it's offering. It has uh, somewhere around 50% cotton and the rest it's all polyester materials. Mostly because the satin is definitely not viscose and uh, that's where the polyester comes in. So although it's the smallest size, the extra small, I feel it's pretty big on me. I would have to roll up my sleeves in order not to show the fact that it's uh, fitting me quite big and uh, I'm not exactly sure I want to do that. I would have liked something that I could wear without worrying about anything. Other than that it's pretty nicely made. The color material is extended towards the lining and you also have a band on the inside. At the shoulders I feel uh, it fits properly through to size. Now, the pants are made entirely from satin. Uh, they come at $44.99. They're pretty amazing. I like them better than the blazer. Uh, although the combination uh, between them is quite nice. And I ordered it in two sizes, both 32 and 34, so the smallest two sizes available. But this pair in particular, I feel like I could get by with a 32, so the smallest size, but I would have to be aware of how much I'm eating so I won't get bloated because it feels a bit constricted in the tummy area. And uh, as I said, since it's a party, I don't want to be stressed and thinking about rolling up my sleeves and not eating too much. So uh, I think I will uh, just keep the 34 and what I really like about it and it's something I usually look for in a pair of wide leg trousers are these two pleats in the front. I feel it really gives volume. It also has pockets and it, it has another fake pocket in the back. You can't use it but uh, it's a really nice detail making them look even more expensive. So all in all, I'm quite excited with the ensemble and although I'm not 100% sure that what I'm going to wear, I think I'm going to keep this entire suit because it makes me feel uh, empowered and uh, I think that if I were to choose this one to wear at my party, uh, I would uh, have a good time, I would feel good in it. Next I ordered this silver coated pair of trousers. I've been looking for a pair of silver trousers for a while. These ones were pretty inexpensive, they were $24.99 if I'm not mistaken, yes. Uh, what I don't like about them, firstly they make this whooshing sound. Also I decided to order them in a bigger size than I usually wear. These ones uh, are fairly true to size I would say but what I don't like about them is the fact that it has a bit of gathering in the front they look like they are too big for me and uh, although I like some loose fit I feel like with these ones because of the silver color it makes them feel like too much so yeah I'm not a big fan of them and I will most likely return them let me know what you think, maybe it's just in my head because I already ordered three or four pairs <laughs> similar to this one and I haven't kept any of them so maybe I'm 
delusional with my expectations when it comes to this, uh, this type of trousers. Next, I decided to order two midi satin skirts, one in this teal color, as it says on the website. It makes me think at the color of a Christmas tree. It has an elasticated waistband and it's uh, made from 100% viscose, which is uh, mainly the reason I decided to purchase them. Whenever I see satin skirts appearing on stock on different websites, whether it be it H&M, Zara, Mango, uh, I usually buy them because Viscose has a longer shelf life and I can trust that they will last me a bit longer than the polyester satin. One thing I don't like about them is uh, the fact that all they have is this elasticated waistband so uh, they don't have any zipper and personally I have a bigger bum so I have to struggle a bit to get into it and because I'm forcing myself I'm afraid it might rip at some point. It doesn't look like I need a bigger size. I feel it extra small is the perfect size for me in this skirt. Uh, they are fairly cheap. They came at $18.99 and for a 100% viscose satin skirt I find it really worth it. So I will keep at least one of these. I'm not uh, yet sure which color. The next item is an off-the-shoulder dress in this uh, beige color. It comes at $32.99, which is a fair price, keeping in mind that it's made entirely from polyester. It has a bit of wool in it, but I feel like it's just for advertisement because in the description you can see that it contains some wool. And yeah, I don't think it's worth advertising it like it has wool. I decided to purchase it in the smallest size and I think it fits surprisingly well. What I particularly like about it is the high slit on the left side. I think it makes it even more feminine besides the fact that it's on the tighter side so it shows off your curves. It also has a bit of a flared sleeve and some ribbed material that comes over your shoulder in order to give it that of the shoulder cut. It is really soft despite being made entirely from polyester. I am thinking about ordering in another color as well. I saw that it comes in two other colors, black and something lighter. I, I, I think I'm not sure. It has almost maxi length for my height, but it doesn't bother me. I feel like it's the perfect length for what I was looking for. Okay, so for the next item, I would have to try it on. It's this fitted, single-breasted blazer. Okay, so here it is. Whew. I got tired while trying it on. I was really excited when I saw this blazer appearing on the H&M website because I feel it has a pretty special cut, uh, starting with the sweetheart neckline and uh, continuing with the darty, the waist. It also has covered buttons and uh, two fake pockets, but I'm okay with that. You can also notice the slit at uh, the cuffs, which also makes it look rather vintage and uh, retro. So I was rather disappointed when it came and I tried it on for the first time because it's not the best quality. I feel it's a bit big on me. You can, although I ordered it in the smallest size, uh, it has this shoulder pad that makes it look a bit too wide for my figure. And it makes me look like I don't have that harmonious balance between my proportions. At least that's what I thought about when I saw it for the first time. But let me know what you think because maybe my perspective is skewed or maybe I had too high expectations. Next I have this shoulder pad knitted top. Uh, I feel like the shoulder pad is the main feature of it. Um, besides the red, of course, red is the color of the season right now. But I made a mistake and I purchased it in a small instead of an extra small. And I feel like it uh, makes me look disproportionate. So I will most likely not keep it because of that. It comes at $21.99 and 
It's made from somewhere around 50% cotton, but uh, yeah, maybe I will just order it in a smaller size and get over with it. So I pretty much finished with the clothes, so I'm going to move on to accessories. Uh, I have something from pretty much everything, but I'm going to start with two bags. Uh, first is the cutest little bag. This one was $15.99 and it has this satinated flower so small that it doesn't even fit my phone so I would have to take it most likely to a wedding or an event as an accessory without any functionality maybe I could fit a lipstick <laughs> Besides the small handle, it also has a longer one, uh, a strap made from some metallic material, uh, but it's quite sturdy and it looks really good. It doesn't have any, any loose threads. Because it's so nicely made, I decided to keep it. And although I don't have anything in mind right now for where I can use it, it's, it's so cute, I, I just want to have it. Another mini purse I tried from H&M is this sequined mini purse. I've been looking for an elegant option in silver because I have some outfits that require a silver clutch like this and I thought that this might be it. It's not the case because it's not the quality I was looking for. I feel like uh, although it doesn't have uh, any defects right now. I don't trust the way these sequins are glued. Also has a small strap uh, and I find the length of the strap perfect for this type of purse because you can wear it something like this and I think it shows how pretty it is and how pretty the idea of a silver purse like this is and I'm quite disappointed that uh, I couldn't fill that gap in my wardrobe with this one because it, it is quite an accessible option. It came at $21.99 which for this kind of detailing it's worth it but yeah it's just not good enough for me. I also decided to order some shoes. These are some pointed boots made entirely from leather which are pretty close to what I had in mind uh, for an everyday boot that I could wear without thinking too much. I want something that could go with jeans, with uh, wool trousers uh, and with most of my coats. And since I worn off the other black boots I had, uh, those one were from Zara and I saw how much wear I got out of those. Uh, I decided to invest in a similar pair from H&M. The heel is uh, 7 centimeters. They come at $99.99 and I think it's worth the price. It has uh, a zipper on the side and it also has this gold detailing, which I really appreciate because I feel it makes them look even more luxurious. So yeah, all in all, uh, these were exactly what I expected and I will keep them and I can't recommend them enough. Now let's move on to earrings and I will start with these. I used to wear hoop earrings during high school, that was somewhere around 10 years ago. I was in love with them, I, I wore them everywhere including school and my teacher from then decided that wearing this type of earrings makes me a bad girl and she told my parents and my parents forced me not to wear them and since then I had kind of a bad memory associated with this type of earrings, I know it sounds dramatic but recently I saw them on some of my friends and I thought it looks quite nice they're not bad girls so this was the reasoning behind this purchase uh, they came at uh, fairly cheap so both of these pairs at $5.99 one is silver and one is gold I'm not sure I'm going to keep them because and this is why I haven't tried them on. I wanted something smaller. Next I have these pendant earrings. These also come in gold and they have this flower attached to them. Uh, yeah, I, I think they're, they're quite nice. They're a bit on the 
speaker side. They're quite a statement. I feel like they would look best if you had your hair up. They were $6.99 and uh, yeah, I think it's a fair price and I'm going to keep them. The next pair is these triangular earrings. They look pretty good, but you can see that they're also quite big. <laughs> These ones were a bit more expensive, they were $9.99. Yeah, it, it looks good, it, they're good. They're weighing down my earlobe a bit, but not too much. Yeah, they, they're definitely a statement. <laughs> so I just have to suck it up and get used to wearing earrings because I'm, I'm really missing out. <laughs> the next thing is this bracelet. It comes at $11.99. It has this gold detail and um, this almost like leather material covering it. At first I was like, this bracelet is too big for my hands and it is. It slides off and on rather easily. So I'm at risk of losing it, but if I wear it something like this, then it stays really nice on. So that was pretty much everything I had for you today. I hope you were able to draw some inspiration. I hope you like the pieces I've chosen. So if you want to give me your opinion or if you just feel like chatting, then uh, you can talk to me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.